Terry Pierce. But there's a name missing there, Kevin. Yes, there is. First, <laughs> quite, first time in quite some time, Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. First time in nine years she has not been in the top ten <laughs> rankings. from Hoover. And the crowd absolutely loves Anka Hoover. Marcellus was in control of this point from the beginning, but Hoover just scrambles, showing her superior fitness, and finally is able to out-rally the number one seed. And you can hear Anka Hoover, when she hits a shot that she's not happy with, she lets you know about it verbally. And the crowd enjoying it. Anticipated right, but that's long. We're hearing a lot from both players now, exerting a lot of energy, doing a lot of running. Wise of Huber to take a few circles there, take her time, regain her composure. It's important for her to hold serve here, not let, let Celis run away so quickly with the first set. She's serving at 2-5 in the first. Never has Anka Huber beaten Monica Celis. Do you think it gets to a point where it becomes a mental thing when you've played one player, you have that nemesis, someone that you just can't get over the hump with? Oh, absolutely. And certainly for Huber, it's very difficult because she usually wins her matches with her ground strokes, and now she's playing someone with more powerful ground strokes. But she needs to go back to doing what she was in the beginning, and that's hitting the short angles and the high moon balls. Yeah, when she changed pace, it seemed as though she was much more successful. You called it, but it's wide. And now a couple of break points again for Monica Sellis, 15-40. Couple set points. Monica Sellis, opportunity here to close out the first set. Second serve at two set points. There it is. Monica Sellis, that final point, very apropos for the way things went in this first set. She was in command and wins the first set 6-2. Well, typical Monica, she is inside the baseline and just pounces on that serve. She leads here, 15-30. Sellis serving at one all in the second set of the Maurier Open from Toronto, Canada. Again, takes her wide. women such great shot making scrambling the best point of the match and it results in Anka Huber coming away with two set points at 1540 excuse me two break points at 1540 and again on the big points Huber hitting into the net she is not bending her knees enough as you can see her motioning not Se getting enough top spin on the ball. Salas has had five break points in this match. Aka Huber is now two of 11 oh. on break point opportunities. If you gave Martina Hingis 11 break point opportunities, <laughs> you can bet she's going to convert on most of them. <laughs> well, while Huber's yelling, knowing she didn't come in on a deep enough approach shot. Martina Hingis is jogging in those Swiss mountains, but there Huber just yes. not coming in on a deep enough approach shot. Kind of a prayer there, showing the reaction, showing the emotion. I think you tend to relax a little bit when you get up like that, get up a couple of breaks. Absolutely, absolutely. Advantage. 
Sellis. Well, again, Huber nicking the net, just not putting enough spin. This is her first final in several months. She may be fatiguing at this stage because she's just not getting low enough in there. Looks at her coach. What am I supposed to do? And Monica Sellis fights back from being down 15 the open court, but exerting a lot of energy out there. Thirty all, four four in the second. Oh. Seeing terrific body language though from Sellis. Her head's down. She's concentrated and focused. Doesn't get negative when she makes an error, which is another big difference from six months ago. Sellis leads second set 5-4 the DeMaurier Open. We will return to Toronto here on Fox Sports Net in a moment. And Huber here in the final second set. Ball! That's long. Well, this is the do or die game for Huber. She's got to get the first serve in. Look where Monica Sellis is to receive. She's just crouched down so low for that return, so eager to hit that winner. Love 15. Sellis took the first set, 6-2. Number one seed here with the Warrior Open. Huber left that one wide. She trailed 1-3 here in the second set. Fought back to take a 4-3 lead. But now Monica Sellis has come back winning the last two games and is up love 30 at 5-4 in the second. That's wide, 15-30. Despite that glitch, Sellis has just worn down Huber mentally. Huber now a bit impatient, going for a bit too much on her ground strokes. But this woman is so eager to notch her second title of the year. Her second consecutive title, so Monica right. Sellis. They've come in bunches and championship point for Monica Sellis. Second serve. Well, it took Monica Sellis nearly nine months to come up with her first championship of the 1997 season. And now she has gotten two in a row as she defeats Anka Huber in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4 here at the DeMarie Open and wins for the third straight time. Andrea Leanne, the crowd on their feet in appreciation of the display of tennis that we've seen today. Well, she deserves it. All credit to Monica Sellis, the only player in the open air to win three consecutive Canadian Open titles. She plays her best tennis up here in Toronto. But this is a good sign for Sellis for the U.S. Open. What has been the difference the last couple of weeks? This is two straight.